feel the drag when you're driving really fast and you, you stick your hand out the window. And then they're saying because the fingers are, you know, because it's like a, a great, you know, that when you turn it, you can turn your car. And except not quite like that, it's because the, uh, it'd be like saying you're, you're gonna make sure a pencil is vertical, not by hanging it from one end and letting the rest of the weight of the pencil orient downward. It's like turning a car by sticking these things out the window and holding on to it, flipping it out, sticking out the window, and then like angling it, and you're gonna turn your car and go along a racetrack because it has to be super responsive because it's a huge tower that is tipping over with all these different forces and winds. It's just a ridiculous thing. And anybody who believes it either isn't thinking, isn't smart, or both. Then you also probably don't have a problem with the fact that they're shooting out little jets, which would be like having a kid on each window shooting out ping pong balls to help steer the car. If you weren't an exceptional engineer or aren't an, an exceptional engineer, based on what I've heard and what I have done, um, you may not know why I say what I say. Well, let's have a look. First, we're going to see the thing in action, the waffle iron in action, the car grill in action. But uh, after that, then we're going to see what I found in some cursory research to find a demonstrative test such as one that was done in a wind tunnel or better yet independently by someone showing how wonderful and powerful uh, as far as uh, pitch roll and yaw goes these ridiculous grates like sewer grills or whatever they're called uh, grid fins I guess um, we don't really see them in nature so that tells you all you need to know uh, because God the ultimate designer has already designed the optimal um, shapes and things you tend to find them in nature now that if if they're used for a single purpose or an alternative purpose, there may be a slightly different uh, version of an optimal shape, but uh, we don't see this in nature, and yeah.
So, other than this cartoon and other CGI drawings, have we ever seen these things used? Have we ever seen them in action? Well, I think the answer would have to be no, as far as I can tell. Oh, I'm sure that SpaceX has claimed to have done uh, wind tunnel tests, but really, I mean, honestly. <laughs> so, I went to Wikipedia, and I looked to see data, and also how long have these things been around? And I had many other questions, but uh, many of them, you can guess what the answers are. Uh, I did look to see if they had um, been used in, on anything real, okay? Anything else, like, like a Formula One car or something like that. And I think I knew the answer to that already. But I thought, well, we'll see if there's been any claim of it having been used effectively. And this is what I found. Well, that was a pretty, well, pointless test. I couldn't find any information about it. That just was somebody showing that they put it in a wind tunnel, but the results, well, huh. There was a separate discussion about the results um, in this little video, and I'll spare you the speculation, but the person saying, you know, they did a finite element analysis. So it's basically a wind tunnel with a computer, you know, that type of thing, uh, where they use data. It's the type of thing that they say that they can use to predict 
the path of hurricanes and things like that. Now, I've worked with these in the past in designing um, complex components for engineered vehicles and uh, on a systems level. And I can tell you that way back in like the year 2000, we were using this finite element analysis FEA, not flat earth asshole, no, no, no. Finite element analysis, um, a serious thing that is uh, a useful tool that does predict how plastics will flow in an in injection molding um, cavity, for example. Um, so they used it and they were confused because the thing didn't do crap. Basically, I can sum the whole thing up for you like this. That dog don't hunt. All right? It's worthless. <laughs> Just like you would think. I mean, take the grill off the front of your car. I mean, why, why don't we just, why, why do we have our car's wheels turn? Why don't we just have the grill on the front of our car in front of the radiator turn? And we could just drive that way. I'm sure it would handle much better. I mean, that's basically what we're talking about here. Um, so I looked, and in, in the military applications, yes, uh, they have used them on fake missiles, or real missiles maybe that were never really used or didn't really work well. Who knows? They just buy these things. It's like the, the whatever that X plane is that doesn't even really fly, like, over half of the ones built, they were non-operational. Supposed to be better than the F-16, and it's not. Nothing's better than the F-16, basically. As far as uh, you know, overall robust speed, maneuverability, and all that good stuff. So the Moab, I think, I haven't really looked into that, but that was probably a hoax thing. Um, the supposed use of that. So these grid fins have been around since the 50s, but they've just been fake. It's all fake crap. Look at it. I mean, just look at it and use your mind. Is that going to work? Why do you even need that? Oh my. This picture is a joke. This look at this is a joke. What do they do? Have a something cut the strap little scissors come out and a mechanical arm and cut that strap when it's time to deploy I mean I don't know I'm sure they have some kind of somewhat reasonable explanation although the entire premise and the evidence of whatever it is they say is completely off kilter or absent or the complete opposite of what their conclusion is <sighs> It's a waffle iron. <laughs>